friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in ASP.NET using stored procedures how to get the last or newly inserted ID column from SQL Server database table and here we got the output to get the last newly inserted row ID from database using stored procedure let's enter some details the name is Charan email charan at gmail.com the salary is 15,000 now before click the submit let's check the database table the table is this one get EMP ID execute right now this table contains zero rows when I insert new record the charan details into this table I want to get the employee ID EID is one submit see here we got the output the employee is one let's check in the table execute see the last or newly inserted employee ID is one let's enter another record Vijay v at gmail.com salary is 10,000 when I click submit the output will be the two submit see here we got the newly inserted ID is two of the Vijay we'll check in the table execute the employee ID two is Vijay if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates Before writing the coding part in ASP.NET, first we'll create a new table and a stored procedure to insert the values. I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the root folder. The databases, I'm expanding that one. The sample DB database is my user database. I want to create a new table and the stored procedures in this sample DB database. Right click the sample DB, new query. Let's create a table. Create table. The table name is dbo dot get emp id is a table name. E id integer type not null. I am adding identity for this column one comma one as well as I am adding primary key. E name varcar 50 email varcar 100 and the last column I'm adding salary which is an integer type let's create a table execute and here we got a message command completed successfully the table is created in the sample DB database let's expand the sample DB database the tables notice the get emp id is here right click the get emp id let's browse the select top thousand rows and here we got the results of this newly created table get emp id right now in this table contains zero rows let's create a new stored procedure to insert the values into this table and we'll get the row id column as a output on the browser in the sample db database I'm minimizing the tables the programmability folder is there expand that one stored procedures right click that one new stored procedure and here we got the stored procedure with the default code I'm deleting this default stored procedure I'm adding the stored procedure name e employee last ID is a store procedure name at the column names are ename varcar 50 at email varcar 100 comma the next one is a salary at salary which is an integer type comma 
and these three parameters is the input parameters now I am adding the parameter to get the output the direction is at ID column EID copy that one paste here integer type OUT out now I'm deleting the select statement insert into the table name is dvo.cutemp id copy that one paste here the column names are ename email salary values at ename at email at salary set at eid is equals to scope underscore identity is a method return at eid that's it let's create the store procedure execute and here we got a message command completed successfully let's check the employee lost id stored procedure is created in this folder or not let's refresh the folder expanding the stored procedures and here the employee lost id is a stored procedure is added up to now we have just finished the first part now the second part is a coding part to insert the values into this table and we are expecting the last row id column as an output on the browser let's open visual studio for this video tutorial i'm creating a new asp.net application go to file new project and from the web templates i'm selecting asp.net web application and the dotnet framework 4.6.1 the application name is employee emp last ID store procedure click OK and from the templates I'm selecting empty click OK and the project is created successfully let's open solution explorer now in this project I'm adding a web form page right click the project name add web form the web form name is get get lost ID okay and here we got the source page of the get lost ID dot ASPX page now between this form and due tag I'm adding center tag h1 the heading is how to get lost or newly inserted auto ID from database using stored procedure horizontal line after the horizontal line I'm adding the text box controls one button control and one label control to display the message open toolbox the text box control I'm adding the text box name name is equals to I'm changing the ID of the text box text name break let's copy this one email text email and the next column name is salary text salary horizontal line after the horizontal line I am adding one button control and one label control open toolbox again button control I'm changing the button text to submit horizontal line I'm adding a label control open toolbox label control 
from this label control I'm deleting the text property label that's it up to now we have just finished the designing part now switch to the design mode double click the submit button it will generate the button click event now in this code behind I'm adding the namespaces using system.data using system.data.sql client the last namespace using system.configuration after adding these three namespaces the next thing in the server explorer I am adding the database name under data connections right click the data connections add connection I am adding the server name after adding the server name I am selecting the database name sample db test connection is succeeded ok ok and here the sample db.dbo is added now we need the data source of the sample db right click the sample db.dbo select properties in the properties connection string there is a data source copy that one open solution explorer in the project the last one is a web.config file open that one in the web.config file I'm adding connection string connection strings add name is equals to my connection connection string I'm adding the data source provider name which is a system dot data dot SQL client after adding the connection string in the web.config file switch to the code behind in the button click event let's write the coding part string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double calls I am adding the connection string name which is my connection copy that one paste here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I am adding the main con object string not string SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command takes two parameters the first parameter is a command text so the command text I am adding the stored procedure name which is employee lost ID is a stored procedure name copy that one paste here comma the connection object the second parameter SQL con SQL com dot command type is equals to command type dot store procedure. Let's open SQL con dot open method. Close the connection string. Close method. Now between this open and close, SQL com dot parameters dot add with value. Between double quotes, I'm adding the column name ename copy that one and the second parameter is the object value here the object is a text box control text name dot text property sql com dot parameters dot add with value with double quotes at email copy that one this here text email dot text semicolon sql com dot parameters dot add with value within double quotes at salary copy that one comma text salary dot text now I'm adding the SQL command parameters the output direction SQL com dot parameters dot add method double quotes at the output parameter is at EID copy that one SQL DB type DB 
i dot integer dot direction is equals to parameter direction dot output SQL com dot execute non query method after execute non query method when the records are inserted successfully in the table I want to get the last ID column so here string get ID is equals to SQL command dot parameters between double quotes at the ID dot value dot to string method after that label one dot text is equals to get id is a variable this one that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the output to get the last newly inserted row id from database using stored procedure let's enter some details the name is Charan, email charan at gmail.com the salary is 15,000 now before click the submit let's check the database table the table is this one get EMP ID execute right now this table contains zero rows when I insert new record the charan details into this table I want to get the employee ID EID is one submit see here we got the output the employee is one let's check in the table execute see the last or newly inserted employee ID is one let's enter another record VJ v at gmail.com salary is 10,000 when I click submit the output will be the two submit see here we got the newly inserted ID is two of the VJ we'll check in the table execute the employee ID two is VJ that's it